bigger than us that that's guiding us or whether it's just free will um, whatever you believe but I think positivity or staying positive um, is something that we practice and um, I think for me what's been working is being able to help my daughters in the school and, and being able to to help her every day is definitely giving me a purpose um, a piece of everybody we are back we're back in uh, a quarantine everyday life now right so we're here the daily videos um, been trying to stick a system with it but as we all know uh, things have gone a little more crazier so we try to make as much time as we can to make some daily videos here uh, for the channel but um, I really wanted to just share real quick uh, some insights of having this book that I'm rereading again um, you'll see when you believe it by Wayne Dyer and you know, in the steps that, you know, all these things that are going on, all the current events, current situation we're in, um, it can be very easy for us to kind of, you know, get, I would say, frustrated and frustrated and even over and done with this quarantine lifestyle. <laughs> um, I know for me, you know, a person that loves to just randomly go out and enjoy, uh, especially nature or just a random walk, um, constantly reminding myself that I have to wear a mask now, you know, being uh, very um, thoughtful of other people, obviously, of social distancing and stuff like that. So I oftentimes walk out, sometimes I forget, you know, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more for us to think about on a daily basis. And yes, it's a little bit frustrating, but obviously it's for the better of society, right? The better of the, the, the bigger picture here. But at the same time, a lot of us can get kind of overwhelmed by, by these, uh, we don't know when we're going to go back to work, we don't know when we're going to um, go back to normal activities. Um, I know for me, uh, my summer activities where we partake in some uh, baseball events here in New York City, we don't even know when we're going to start, what so apparently is going to be allowed, no rules, implementation, so it's going to be a totally different uh, uh, summer, and um, and that goes for all of us, I think. Um, I don't think anything's going to be the same. There might be certain things open here and there, but it's not going to be the same as, you know, regular summer. And um, I think understanding that, one, seeing the best in this in this chaos, right? Um, in this book, it's always talking about how there's be beauty in chaos. And although it takes me, it's still hard for me to see it. <laughs> it's still very, very hard for me to see any type of beauty in any chaos. But the more I'm at ease with it, I feel like I see the positives and the bright side of it. Um, oftentimes, I can get very overwhelmed by just not knowing what the next step is, right? And with this quarantine, we I don't think anybody knows. We all flustered, right? Uh, not even the own government has answers to the questions that we have. And at the same time, we want to accept um, what is to come, right? Uh, whether it be... Uh, longer times on the quarantine or just everything's gonna be different implementations um, you know going to the grocery store now or going for your groceries is not a, a quick trip um, minimum for me is an hour and a half two hours depending how much people are there and um, you know just understanding it I think for me it's just knowing that I'm going there and I know it's gonna be a while um, and I don't know where to go <laughs> unless you're working most of us have nothing nowhere to go so hey the grocery trip is probably the, the longest trip of the day <laughs> and it's for your needs, right? You need your groceries, but um, going with that intention that I know it's going to take a while and, and if it does, I'm okay with it and as long as I just get what I need to get and, and go home, I'm okay with it. Um, but I know that a lot of us don't want to do that. We don't want to wait uh, online to buy groceries. Um, I never I never witnessed that in my life so far um, and it's a first for me, but... Um, Let's hope it's just a, a, it's not a normal thing moving forward, right? Um, but I don't know, I just want to jump on here and understanding how I was reading a part in the book and he was talking about how um, understanding thing, understanding that everything has its purpose. Um, give me one second. Where was he read it? That nothing is random, quote unquote, uh, which he was reading a book by Mark Halpern. But nothing is random. So I think seeing these as a, seeing this as a bigger picture, as what we're doing, what's going on, and everything that's that's kind of 
forcing us to do certain things that we not normally normally were doing um, is a, a wake up call for a lot of us. I think, for especially myself, like that. There's there's a there's a lesson in this, and as they say, life has a teacher, and we just gotta see the the teachers or find the or become the student and find the teachers. And this might be a great teacher for us on how we react towards this pandemic, how we react towards, you know, being told what to do as opposed to like having our own free will and doing what we feel like doing. Um, it's it's shown in a lot of areas, right? Um, but at the same time, being mindful for others, being mindful for yourself, staying healthy um, and still practicing that um, social distancing, right? But I, I, I must admit, it's very hard, especially if you're a big family or if you are a lot of friends. You know, it's one of the things, those things that you're not used to, and it's, it's something you have to take practice. And uh, I don't know how many weeks we're into quarantine. I would say about a month. What was it like late? Yeah, so it's gonna be like a month and a half now with this um week coming up, and um, was that close to six weeks? Uh, and and I, I don't even know how many days we've been in it. Cause it's just been kind of the same every day for me <laughs> as far as like doing the everyday things but um growth has definitely happened for a lot of us i think a lot of us maybe have lost careers maybe have lost jobs um, and don't know what's next so i think we're using this moment or these moments to understand that it's not random that it, it was a purpose for it um because easily i know for me I, I can easily think about you know my last year and a half of why things happened the way they did and, and what I could have done and, and maybe if I would have said or maybe if I would have even not said it but if maybe I would have um, acted a little bit more um, I would say I'm not sure like I, I would have done something differently maybe the outcome would be different and and there's a lot of guilt that comes up right a lot of um, uh, I would say sense of of unworthiness and I, I really don't want us to I, I've learned that that doesn't really help um, I think understanding that it happened, it had to happen, it, it wasn't random, and now what can you learn from that and what can you take away? Um, and understanding there's a bigger picture for us, or a bigger plan for us, uh, whether you believe it or not, you know, whether there's something bigger than us that, that's guiding us, or whether it's just free will, um, whatever you believe. But I think positivity, or staying positive, um, is something that we practice. And... Um, I think for me, what's been working is being able to help my daughters in the school and, and being able to to help her every day. It's definitely giving me a purpose. Um, besides me just wondering what I, what's my purpose, I know my purpose right now is to make sure she's um, taken care of and and her and she's learning. Um, and I'm right now the teacher for her, <laughs> and there's a reason why we're here, all of us. So um, I don't know. I think find that find that stuff that you're here for. Find that small. Uh, purpose um, the most maybe random for you but it might be the reason why we're we exist right we all have a purpose I do believe that everybody has a purpose everybody has something that nobody can take away from you um, and I think believing that gives us a lot more hope faith and and keeping it light you know keep yourself don't don't make, don't, keep, don't take yourself too seriously um, and um, just um, I would say enjoy the day by day and uh, let's uh, have a great rest of the week. Hope you guys, oh, not you guys, everyone is having a great time, staying healthy <laughs> as much as I can. Uh, I'm, too, I'm eating too much ice cream, as you say. But uh, here we are. So I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Everyone.